écrire en français. So write in French. And uh, well, I thought it might be useful to just make this little video because I've been teaching for quite many years now and I've been noticing that at one point um, my students tend to be a bit disappointed or sad because they just realized one important thing in French and it's the difference between what je prononce, I pronounce and j'écris I write because basically you can see that of course you will have some connections between what you pronounce and what you write but we've got many many things that we will have to write and we won't pronounce I thought it might be useful to start uh, and give you an example here with the verb Parler. Okay, so we will make the conjugation. Remember that we will focus on the conjugation in another video that will come a bit later. Okay, but it's just to give you a good example here. So parler is to speak or to talk, and it's a regular verb, so it belongs to the first group ending with a air. So let's see how we conjugate it at the present tense. Je parle. Tu parles, il, elle parle, nous parlons, vous parlez, il, elle parle. Okay, so basically you get here this je and it's I, je parle, I talk, I speak, tu, and tu is for you, okay, and it's the singular form, tu parles, here, you talk, you speak, Il, it's for the masculine form, he, il, and then elle, feminine form, she, elle. Okay, so il, elle, and then we've got the same form, parle. Then comes the plural form, nous, so we, okay, and in that case it's nous parlons, vous, you, so it's the plural form, or then we will see a bit later that it, it can be also for the singular if it's the polite form. Okay, vous parlez, and then we've got il, so they, but then in French we divide and we make the difference between the masculine plural, so il here, and elle, the feminine plural. Il, elle parle. Alright, so we've got je parle, tu parles, il parle, elle parle, nous parlons, vous parlez, il parle, elle parle. And if you look carefully, you write it with E here, E, S, E, then you get E, N, T here. So I only take these four forms just for a good reason, it's just because if you look carefully and if you listen to me, I will pronounce it Je parle, tu parles, il parle, elle parle, il parle, elle parle. So it does mean that even if you write them differently, E, E, S, and then E, N, T, you will pronounce them the same way. And this is basically the difficult thing about French uh, language. It's just a, the big difference between what you say, what you pronounce, and what you write. Okay, so in this example, for this verb, actually, if we finish it like that, you can see that you've got three phonetical forms. The first one is parle, okay, the yellow one. Then you've got nous parlons, and then you've got vous parlez. But of course, at one point, if you want to write it correctly, you will have to remember the endings and you will have to put this S here, for instance, if you want to write it correctly, or then a and T here, even if you pronounce them the same way. Okay, so my advice would be, <laughs> if you want to be happy, <laughs> uh, well, basically, when you see, it's coming, yeah, when you see a new word, Un nouveau mot. Uh, well, 
word in general, so it can be a verb, it can be an adjective, it can be a noun, whatever. When you see a new word, uh, try to remember, of course, how you will pronounce it, but then try, try also to remember how to write it correctly.